we're signing this up to send it to a to a movie crew that's going to be making a movie out in New Mexico. And uh, it just came out of a museum that they sold out. So we're taking a wire brush. This wire brush is, for most intents and purposes, is wore out. But it works good on these plows to get that real thick, rusty stuff off. And then we take the orbital sander and we'll, we'll run it over it where we see the where we see the rust is still left on it, and then we can go ahead and take this and get it off. Now this is, this uh, uh, joiner point here is wore a little bit, and this this uh, plow point is almost brand new. Well, the only trouble is, when they used it, it was brand new, but they didn't have it set right, so it was right on the, right on the point. So it rounded this off here on the bottom. So if we don't do something about that, and if they don't have it, set just exactly right. That's going to continue to wear, and it's going to wear on this side more than it wears on the upper side, so that it's going to get harder and harder to get in the ground. So we're going to grind this off just a little bit on the top side here, and that'll make it sharper here so it'll dig in better. Um, the reason a plow digs in is because of what we call suck. And this is what suck is. Suck is the distance between the bottom of the furrow and the bottom of your land side and your point. And if you don't have this little gap in here, the suck, if this is straight across here, the plow won't, won't suck into the ground and it's going to be hard to plow with this plow. And you also got suck on the land side, which is the dip in this here. And if you get around on this side, you'll be able to see it. Now there's not probably not a lot of distance in there but that's the suck on the side of this land side and you can also you can see it in here and that's what makes that plow want to suck into the side of the land As you can see, we got this shined up pretty good here, um, and we'll put a little oil on that. We've got to do a little more work on this point here. We'll actually take and grind just a whisker on this because this is pitted and it's rough. So we'll grind just a little bit on that to smooth that up. But this is good enough. This will this will plow just like it is. As we rub a little oil on it, you can see that it's that it's pretty nice and smooth. And they shouldn't have any trouble with. They shouldn't have any trouble with this plow plowing because stuff shouldn't stick to it. That's pretty good and clear. Now here, this is this is a casting mark here. This plow, this point hasn't been used only just a little bit. Once this point's been used a little bit, that casting uh, those will go away because these are sand castings. This cast iron. This, of course, this, this plow is all cast iron. And this is plain old straight cast iron. This isn't cast steel. So this stuff is all breakable. <laughs> you drop this on the floor on the point and take the point right off just right now. But you can see that looks pretty darn good. And we do the same thing to the joiner and the, the mold board and the joiner. This is nothing but a little plow. And this is what turns your trash over and starts your dirt turning. And we're going to grind that just a little bit on the top of that because that's a just a whisker bit round on the bottom. We'll grind that just a little bit and that way that'll bite right in too. So this plow ought to, ought to do a pretty good job plowing for them if they got somebody that knows enough to run it, and even if they don't know enough to run it, that's probably going to dig some dirt, which is probably all they're interested in. And this has got, this plow has got the original beam with the name wired on it, and then plus it's got the uh, original handles. This is wired plow company, Tavia, in New York.
Okay, we got this pretty well cleaned up here. And we took and ground down this the nose of this point here because it was kind of rough. And you can see the silver, that's the cast. Now, the reason, the way you know how to stop when you're grinding on this is that the rust will make dust. We're going to sharpen this right along here just a little bit because it's a little dull. We're going to sharpen this just a little bit. You always, always sharpen it on the top side. Now you can see where the rust is. You can see the dark. You can see the. You can see the. Uh, I put oil on it so it cut down the dust. But the dust you saw was rust. Now we're going to cut. We're going to take just a little bit off the top of this. Come around here and shoot down here on this. We're going to. We're going to grind a little bit off of this point here, so we make it angled down instead of this point going like this. So we're just going to cut a little bit off of this here, so it's going to bite in. Now you can see how much nicer this point looks. I took just a whisker off the bottom so it was flat, so it wasn't surrounded, and I, and I sloped that nose off so that'll suck right into the ground really good now. Then we sharpen this up a little bit along here, because this is the part that actually does the cut. So we're going to take a whisker off of this uh, joiner point, and so it'll do the same thing.
Now we got that sharpened up. We got this sharpened up. So everything is in good shape. You're not looking for a knife edge because the knife edge will dull real quick anyway. So you might better leave a little bigger edge on so it'll wear better. But the, this plow should cut like a million bucks. They better, they better have some horsepower because this is going to go in the ground. Of course, if they don't want it to plow so deep, they can always, they can always drop this. We're going to put this down in the bottom. I'm going to leave the wheel where it is. And uh, if it's plowing too deep, they can always drop the, they can always drop the wheel down, or they can let their, their hill chains out farther. That'll let it go. That'll work too. If they need to. They need to pull it up, they need to shorten them wheel, wheel chains and that'll pull it up on the front of the plow and bring it up out of the ground.